the real issues that are affecting this country is the government is collecting taxes more than it has ever collected. The first few months you talked about 98 million. No one is talking about money right now because the government has enough money in its coffers. Now, the other day we saw the government saying that it has no money to disperse to the counties. Where is the money going to? Where are you taking the revenue that Kenyans are paying? You'll be, talk you'll be talking every day here about Kenyans on Atakana Walipe taxes, like we hear the president talking every day. But our question is, the money that you've collected, those are the most important things. You know, for Azimio, our issue is different. We are not in government, so you cannot judge us as if we're in government. We are not in government. The people who voted for Kenya Kwanza know that they're in government. And so, sisi wenye hatu kuchaguliwa, hatu wezi ulizo maswali ambayo muna kujaga hapa kutuliza, muna tuliza kama ingekuwa nyinyi. Ah, hiyo swali is wrong place because sisi hatu kwa serikali. Nyinyi ndiyo mungu kwa serikali. So you should be telling us what you are doing. Sisi tuliko tu miahidiwa elfu sita kwa ile familia ambayo haijiwezi. Now that you are not in government, you cannot ask us elfu sita mungetua wapi ya kupatia familia. That question should, be not, should not be asked in this platform. <laughs> because we are not in office. You should be telling us wakati mulitoa subsidy. And we've been talking about this issue of subsidy for a long time. Wakati mulitoa subsidy. What did you bring in place so that you can lower the cost of food? The cost of power has gone up. The cost of margin imiona inaongezewa inalipo almost 24 times higher than Kenyans are used to. Why are you promising things that you have not delivered? Why are you promising things that you say you will deliver, but you have no strategy? And I said here, Eli, there was a time I came here and I said, this government was not prepared. Our watu walikuwa kubatisha, kupata potea na walipopata, wakashindu watafanyia nini? It is a case of you wish for something, and then when you get it, unashiru utafanyia nini? Ndiyo hiyo sasa. Hii serikali mkonayo. Ile kitu tunaona ni sarakasi. Kila siku, kila siku. You want to involve the former president. If you're not involving the former president, you're telling the opposition how to do its work. When the opposition starts doing its work, muna tuambia mumianza maandamano. In the constitution, misi, enda usome. Enda usome constitution. Wewe unajua sitaki tuanze kuongea ile lugha tunaongea. Enda usome constitution, uniambie. Ni wapi katika katiba maandamano imekataliwa. Picketing. It's in the constitution. Na hii constitution, ni njini ndiyo muliandika. You lawyers, ndiyo mulituandike constitution. So we want to pressurize this government to perform and to, you know, deliver on the pledges that it, it made. We will do it peacefully. We will do it through picketing. We will make sure that William Ruto does not sleep until he performs as he promised. And that is why we are here every day. Dobi, you have something to say. And then I'll go to Pen Nyagaka. Just a few comments before you make your submission. Naona kuna watu ulikuwa minu mkono. So, at least. I think so far, what I can tell Misa is you are contradicting yourself squarely. You said Kenya has no capacity because African countries, they have no capacity of that social welfare. And at the same time, you are saying Kenya has the capacity, but the problem is uh, corruption. Now, uh, and you're also forgetting that when you are talking of corruption, there is one person who is a square example of corruption. And that is the person who is in, on the throne. You know, I think uh, the problem, <laughs> then, uh, Richard McCaddy, some, some day called some, some of your submissions very academic. I think it's now becoming uh, elementary. You see, you cannot talk of, I think, I think what, what, picture, what the picture you are trying to bring here is that Kenya should not even struggle to try to put on or to do some, anything about social welfare. Because it should continue knowing that it's unable. That is now what, what we used to call mediocrity. You are not trying to do anything better 
you are not thinking of making life any better because you are calling yourself an African. I think that's not that, that's not that's, that's not supposed to be uh, the, the thinking of of Kenyans. Look at Rwanda. People are it's just Africa, but they are thinking better. Guys who are making they are making their own mobile mobile phones. They are producing. What makes you think Kenya cannot do that? It is because we embrace mediocrity. We are thinking of we should not think of anything better because we are poor. That is wrong. My friend, we need to we need just to, to, to wake up. And if and if at all we would have that is why we are saying we should not be having such a government like the, the one that we are having now. We need governments of people who are thinking greater, who are thinking of making Kenya great the way it is supposed to be. And that is that is that is why we are saying Ruto should must just go. We get a better person who can who is thinking better. That is it. Uh, Penny, I think you had a point also. Let me give you an opportunity. Yeah, thank you very much, Reggie. Barry and Magamupia. We are Miss, 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 Muyole. Happy New Year. Like in being in Munasema in Missouri, too. Some of us are very, very proud, very happy that uh, Ruto won. And all this you are talking about social welfare, yeah, 6,000. That was a joke. It's something right as said in the political meeting. All these countries that you're quoting from Germany to England to, to Canada, like Mrs. is saying, those are negotiated. Both sides come together. You guys in this show are one side. We come here, we listen. We, we feel good. There's nothing wrong. In Missouri, Kusungumusa na Wakenya wezako. Waivo, binasema, let us uh, prepare for 2027. I've listened all day and every day at the, somebody's going to walk to the state house to take out the Ruto. That's a very bad dream. You will not do it. Raira started this in 97. I was still a young person. When uh, he went to court with um, Kibaki and Matiba by, on Monday. By Friday, he was a uh, minister of energy and the Secretary General of Kanu. Fast forward to, 20, uh, to 2007, it's a war. 2012, it was a core Kenya. 2017, it was a handshake. So now we hope and pray that Ruto don't give up anything. Mukishinda Shinda, Makiri. Niliwambia Mukishinda Shinda since we will join you. But you cannot lose, even the code tells you that this is a hot air. Somebody from somewhere that you will get Kenyan, I mean, a uh, uh, writer of uh, presidents through working for IBC, whatever. We don't see him. We don't know him or her. So, why did you say, Mekwamba, to the Sumusa, to Andra Kusumusa, to Kubariane, and to Kubariane? What uh, you guys are talking about, Gaddafi, Gaddafi had more oil than he can think of. And the good thing that really the West never liked about him, he never kept his money in Europe. We need that in Africa. Africa has a lot of minerals. And if we keep our money back in Africa, we know that people walking around with no shoes on, no clothes on. So we need to really restructure our society so that we can uh, benefit everybody through capitalism, not socialism, 6,000. Socialism, look at what it has done to Russia. Even China moved away from that. And look at how much money it's making. And their system is different. So we have to negotiate our system, not at war. Let me finish my Kenyatta helped us a lot. Ilikuwa ina ina subwa biashara ya watu kutoka mountain. Sasa watu kutoka mountain ndio matachiri ndio wale support ki uh, Ruto, I mean uh, Raila. Na hivyo hawezi kuharibu bari yao. So I'm here to say, tell you that we will beat 
in 2027, hands down, we pray, some of us, pray that he is the one we face next time. Lakini aki support mutu mingine, it will be a problem. But if he comes again, we know how to beat him. Thank you very much, Rigi. The language you're here to in the Kuala Sema Kwamba. Why just to Sumuse? Let us talk to each other. You know, we don't have to agree, all of us. That is like a dictatorship. We are in a democracy. Some of us are in the United States, Canada, England, we, you know, in the same as Germany. Those are democracies that people talk their ideas out to form whatever it is that they want to do. Thank you very much, Richie. Now, we are going to get water. Mr. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Th th thank you. Uh, Happy New Year, Penny. Mze Penny. You know, <laughs> I I'm surprised that you guys are already thinking about 2027. And uh, we are still in the early stages of, uh, uh, you know, the presidency or the so-called presidency of William Ruto. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I think... And I said this thing here again, and I'll repeat again. You guys are looking at a bigger enemy in Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga does not need to fight this government. This government will be fought by the people it promised to better their lives. The so-called hustlers. Hustlers in the Watapigara na Iserikali. You are looking at a bigger fish. I even heard this guy, the, the so-called PCS, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Musaliam Davadi, predicting how William Ruto will win with a landslide in 2027. My question is, if you guys have been in government for almost now, we are counting almost half a year, na hakuna kitu yoyote ambayo mumefanya. Hakuna, zero. Ni nini mutaenda kuambia mwana inchi yuko wakaida wakati wa campaign? Because as far as I'm concerned, we might reach a point whereby this country is going to be ungovernable. And equal ungovernable, sini kwa sisi ati ni kwa sababu raila odinga atakuwa meongoza maanda mano. People are suffering. Watu wataona maisha yao, maisha watu kama ha improve, then they will take matters into their own hands. The only thing that we keep on saying here is that watu wanasimama nyuma ya baba, wanasema raila odinga tupatia direction. But you see, if raila odinga does not speak, there are people who are willing to go the extra mile and do it for themselves. And these are the people who are suffering out there. So wakati nyi munakuja kutuambia hapa, we are focusing on 2027, I can assure you here, without a doubt, without fear of contradiction, ya kwamba 2027, Raila Odinga, Kalonzo Mosioka, Martha Karua are not a big issue to this government. This government's stability depends on what they are supposed to be doing. And that is what they are not doing right now. So, kama ya, and I'm, I'm saying this because I see people in UDA struggling a lot. And I'll say this once again. You are, str you are struggling a lot to justify the failure of this government. And it's only six months. State House has six people. It's paying what to sit on a lipo wako na mshahara kutetea serikali. What kind of a failed government employs six people, puts them on a salary, to defend it, and it's still young. Kama mtoto mdogo bado wajajua kutembea, wajajua kuongea, lakini yako na lawyer, wakumtetea wakati yatafanya makosa. That is what this government is right now. Is it distractions? What do we see? I mean, this you are distracting us from the, 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 the failures. And I read somewhere yesterday that uh, William Ruto was that brilliant guy who was always in government and had great, you know, great ideas of how to run a government, how to improve the lives of the people until he got the presidency. So wakati yamepata yu uraisi akapewa kwa mkono na mnai, ameshindu watafanya na yao nini. I have never heard William Ruto talking about those things zenye alikuwa naongea in campaigns. You know, the things that touch common mwana inchi pale chini. Sijai msikia kiongea nowadays. So all we are being treated to ni zile sarakasi za kinagashagwa. I mean, Mise, it's good that you have a deputy president. Sometimes I wonder when it comes to izo siku zenye wewe utakuwa nambia grandchildren wako, what will you tell your children and your children's children about the deputy president that we have right now? 
the guy that has nothing to do in particular nothing every day he wakes up ile kitu anaongea ni kitu ambayo haiwezi saidia mwananchi vitu za upuzi alafu you are telling us tuko na serikali sometimes pk anatuambia hapa we have to go the militant way and the militant way does not require a leader it only requires somebody to you know distance themselves from the normal way of doing things na utaona hiyo kitu ikiendelea so nyinyi kama mnaendelea kubambana na Raila Odinga ole wenu Raila Odinga is almost you know we can say retiring in quotes from politics and you can see very many other people are coming up so we do not need a leader like Raila Odinga who you are focusing on in 20 you know to to fight in 2027 that one might not happen and i and and i, and I want to say this e 2027 yenye mnaonea iko mbali sana I, I, I don't know if you guys will pa, you go past this, this one year hii mwaka mmoja yenye mkoko office ji kama mtatoboa sababu hii 2027 itakuwa mbali sana the government is predicting hard times universities have no money help is not dispersing money anymore because there is no money in this government but you are collecting taxes you are promising to tax people even the more mwananchi atachoka mise mwananchi atachoka mbaja mbaja wa gome ulikuwa umeinua mkono unmute your microphone mbaja unmute your microphone Hai mbaja ni kama hatuko pamoja na yeye. Eh ngoja mbaja mbaja unatusikia? Okay. So let me do this. Domi huko umetoa nini? Mimi ngoja ngoja kidogo. Domi hajaongea alikuwa na ana rebuttal ya contribution. Mbaja as you prepare to uh, as you prepare to admit your mic. Wacha nipatie Domi kwanza then uh, we'll try later with you. Okay, I'm Jambo. Uh, I can comfortably say a uh, welcome. We look at the sana. Kuna Stone PK, Joshua, Ndusi, Nise, na wasalimu yote. I think kuna kuna I think I think okay, let me start off by talking about what is on the and our topic today uh, there is a latest polls in asema 60 64% kenyans eh uh, wanasema agree that ruto must go okay let me uh, let me not talk about uh, the percentage so much because uh, somebody somebody was here who was trying to challenge the percentage or who did the the, the the who did the statistics and whatever uh, to me that one does that's not is not the major problem the major problem is is the statement justified and i think it is very justified well eh uh, what were you doing let me start off by asking if somebody gets into your home and steals a pot then anataka kuichinja atimkule na yeye yeye ndiye atagawa eh most likely atakupatia miguu kwa sababu you not you not part of part of his uh, cronies you see that's 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 uh, that's nonsense into akiba the thing is he supposed to give just back You know I was I think yesterday in your to look at now get is we have tried the conventional means from far back from 2020 uh, to 2007 tumefanya conventional means uh, 2013 2017 at least 2017 there was some let me I I used uh, I think I will call it a half halfway justice at least uh, there was some stoppage 
there was some, some somehow there was some half justice because it, it I call it half because uh, nani uh, uh, Maraga at least, uh, uh, just just cancelled the, the elections. He sent us to go back to, uh, to uh, the elections to another elections, but he did not punish those who did the irregularity. Specifically, he did not punish uh, Chebukati and the group. Justice is includes. Let us repeat the election, but the election should not be over. Should should not be under the person who, who has done the crime. In fact, that was election theft, and Chebukati was supposed to be arrested. That is the full justice, the way it was supposed to be. Okay. Now, 2020, uh, 2013, uh, 20, 2022, the same thing. Now, the worst thing, and uh, that one for those uh, who are in UDA, like me say, the worst thing that has happened is this. The person who took over, instead of bettering the lives of Kenyans, he borrows money. Then he tells us they, they don't have money. He's not building the roads. He's not doing anything. And I challenge you, look, I was in Kenya. I was in Kenya some, uh, in December. There is no road. No new road that is being built. And if anything, they scaled down on the roads that was, were being built. I remember Muzalendo alikuwa hapa kituambia yo, Siji Barabara ya kwenda Mombasa, ya kwenda, ya kwenda Malaba ilikuwa inajengwa. It is not being built. I was there. Haikuwa inajengwa. So, the, the Mecca project stopped. He is, uh, he is uh, borrowing, but the money ayo nekani, hapati, is not, pay, is not uh, giving the uh, waze pesa yao. Some, some, some guys, okay. My dad is not even, is I, I think 10 months behind in Yake, uh, in a pension, 10 months behind. Haja Shugulika, he keeps borrowing, remember, he's borrowing, and he's not doing anything. Then he, some guys are by the group Yake Namisa on a Kujaku to Ambia at Tumbatia time. Mimi na uliza hivi. Uwa na uliza hizi wali. Na, na, na mise kwa sababu amekuja na wengine. Nita uliza. Wewe umepanda basi unaenda Mombasa. Na basi unayona inaelekea limuru. Will you continue city? Unaendelea kukaa kwa tunaenda Mombasa. We are not going to Mombasa. Man. And it's responsible. A responsible person. Waza umepepa watoto. Unajua unaenda Mombasa na watoto. Na bibi na watoto. A responsible man is to say, the river Simama, atutaenda kule unatuteleka. That is the responsible person. But now, unfortunately, this guy wants to make us very irresponsible. Atutunyamaze kuangania vile mambo inaendelea. That's, 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 no, we will not go with that. I will support 100% the call for Kruto must to go. Even if it is it is twenty percent who are saying I will support it, and I say Ruto must go. A journey of one thousand miles starts with one step. Probably I will be what the first step to say Ruto must go, and that is what is supposed to be. Sasa ni njoo njema na ngoja tu seven twenty twenty seven endelea ni kongoja. Mtu ataku mtu ataku kuambia kuacha kongoja twenty twenty seven if at all, Moli Kura Ziliba 2027, 2022. And you are telling us that to go to 2027, when we know that is it a Then you must be stupid. At it on a goya, 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 on that is why we are responsible enough to say the whole nation cannot 
come to us all just because of Rudo. Just because we want to maintain the, 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 the ego of one person called Rudo. No. Look, why don't we, and I say again, we should be thinking of when the lab is on the And if the current government, government is not thinking of when they just pack and go. We need people who are thinking of when they are. A father to Badilisha Viongozi a hundred times in one year. But we better, uh, but we get a better, uh, a good leader than keeping a wicked man in power. I will just call Ruto a wicked man. He's just very wicked. How is he and watu kiumia? And the only thing you are going to tell us is you are focusing on kupiga uh, vita the former president. If anything, if they are talking of taxing, how much are they going to get? Ni pesa Not even five hundred thousand, five hundred million. They will not get 500 million in a year. But, wanaachilia watu kama keroche who have tens of billions ya daily, ya tax. My friend, ya sasa ni kutuchukulia wajinga and we are not as stupid as that. What we need just to do is get these people out so that we can be, be in peace so that we can see at least some change in Kenya. the current president He has been in power and he has been corrupt from so, so many years ago. Yeye ndi amesaidia kuangusha economy alafu mtuambia ati kusimulaumu. Umeingia, umeingia, batalia kutupeleka Mombasa, unaendelea kutupeleka the other side. Unapeleka, uwetupandisha, unapeleka limuru. My friend, no. Tunamula umu squarely. He deserves. Nani, kibaki haku, haku anza. Wakati alianza, he took off. He took over from Moi. Mwenye alikuwa meanibu sana. They did not start blaming Moi. They started off by working. And immediately, the first project is Leonekana. Watoto walienda shuleni bila kulipa pesa. Ilikuwa free primary education was free immediately wakati kibaki ya liikia. So, we cannot see another person, mutu mwenye, immediately wakati ya naidia, anaanza, uh, he, he puts off all the help. Anakataa kusaidia wakati kabisa. Na pesa inye naidia, atuoli kitu napanya. No, apana, we cannot... All right, uh, thank you, Domi. I can see new people have joined the panel. Uh, Stone PK uh, in a Joe Mekwa bench for a while. Uh, what a Daki Kamoja to up a lafu Nikopati and a fasi wonge. A villain in Luambia wa Kenya to ta commercial mambo ya kukopa pilam panko. Wengine wanajaribu kusema serikali yetu imekopa. Mimi nataka niwaambie ile budget tulikuwa naye kulikuwa na pesa ya kukopwa karibu shilingi bilioni tisa. Wakati nimefika nikawaambia hatuwezi kukopa bilioni tisa. Tupunguze bilioni tatu tuondoe tukope hii bilioni sita mwaka huu mwaka ujao tutapunguza mwaka huo mwingine tutapunguza mpaka tutafika mahali ambapo budget yetu itakuwa inaendeshwa kwa pesa ya ushuru wa Kenya na tujiondoe kwa mambo ya mikopo ambayo ni mtego inaweza kuumiza taifa letu la Kenya and i will keep my focus irrespective of what and who writes what we are committed and we are focused kwa sababu tunataka kukomboa taifa letu kutoka mahali ambapo iliingizwa kwa madeni bila ya mpango sawa sawa stone pk unanisikia stone pk Nakusikia bro makiadi vipi? Endelea 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 salama sana. 
Is it uh, happy new year? Ama tukuambie nini? Ama ni birthday? <laughs> Karibu. Wacha ni kukaribishe kwanza alafu ni karibishe. Good to see you bro. Um, yes. Uh, while you are away, many things happened. While you are away, we just UDA wakija kuleta debate hapa. Tuluambia tuliacha manene ya debate. Tuliacha manene ya sijui Ruto is better than Raila or Raila is better than Ruto. Iyo ilikuisha. Iyo ilikuwa wakati kabla ya tare tisa. Tare tisa walifanya vile walifanya. Sasa tukatoka kwa debate. Tunafukuza, tulikuwa tunafukuza, tunatafuta muizi. Then kidogo tukapata ule mtu waliiba. So uh, tulipopata muizi, we are just deep now, tunajadiliana, tuna wenyewe kwa wenyewe, tunyonge, tu, tu, ama tu, tufanye vipi. Tunamuuliza anataka kukufa kiaje, upside down, tumuinue juu, tumuchome, because tushia shika muizi. Mbele tukua tunamtafuta, tukambua tunafukuza, sijui hot air, nini, but uh, we were sure. Tulikuwa tumejua mbuzi yetu imechukuliwa ime na, na mtu fulani. So basically what I'm saying is uh, I think the discussion now in Kenya is not about whether Ruto is performing or not performing. Iyo ni sizi tunaongea hapa wasomi. <laughs> wasomi ndiyo tunapass time hapa at to keep debate. I mean wengine wanaleta hiyo story whether he's performing or not performing. How can you expect you a thief to perform? A hyena is in your boma and you expect it to take care of your goats. It's not possible. Mwizi hame kupikpoket pale tao. <laughs> Anakimbia na kibeti yake na waleti yako na gold, gold chain yako. Badala ufukuze mwizi huyo 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 ashiku achomwe. Unataka kusema tu unamfukuza msimame. Uwanze kumuliza approve how that chain belongs to you. How that wallet belongs to you. Na amenya kuo kiona. So basically what we are talking and what I'm happy Kenyans have come to this point, which for me nilikuwa nimeanza kitambo. Kenyans have agreed ni kutimua ruto. That is what is the best thing. Kenyans have agreed and they, they may not all of them agree. It doesn't have to be all of them. Umeona hata hiyo simple, simple statistics in Aguambia 64%. Even half of that 64% wakisema ni kungua ruto. Ruto ataenda, atatimuka ata kama ule jamaa na ito agota vibaya. I see ruto, ruto, another ruto here is laughing. <laughs> Alingia kwa studio. Murife don't run. Murife don't run. Murife don't run. When you see people laughing, these are the itumbe, itumbe, itumbe chicken. Eh, itumbe chicken ambazo azijafikisha siku 21. Eh, they have no idea what is happening. Ndi au umesikia Richie akisema watu watu wa state house to, to advertise and promote a government. Who does that? Which country does that kind of nonsense? Anyway, in my introduction, that is what I'm saying. For me, when I come here, I don't come here to convince watu wa Ruto at oh, oh, I don't come here to even check balance because i mwizi mimi kwangu akisha ingia ni kuanza kutafuta shoka mishale rungu ni timue yeye mbio na ni kupiga nduru jirani wa ni join nifanye so me when i come here is to rally to kenyans kenyans of goodwill continue to give them facts like the fact i'm going to give you now and always my fact na kuambianga ukitaka ku challenge inbox me fact number one today is that democracy is dead world over Take that to any bank you want. Democracy is dead, totally. If you find where people are trying to do anything semblance to that, ni ile tu kungangana kujaribu. Vile ukizaa kiwete kwako nyumbani, unakuza tu, unanunulia miti, unadesign ma wheelchair, unadesign, but democracy is dead. And it was confirmed dead in Kenya. Thank God. Kenya is blessed. It is where you start, it's where you have the most stupid fools, is where you have the most clever people, engineers, is where you have the best innovators, it's where you have idiots, it's where you have useless leaders. You, Kenya is a port that carries all the rot and all the good things. So it's up to you to know whether you are in which port. Kenya, the land of Mpesa. 
Kenya now is the land whereby democracy after is buried, it's where to another system will be resurrected. A system that will be for the people now, by the people. Your democracy are for the people, by the people ilikufa. That's a democracy of kweli ile watu wata determine vile wanataka kuongozwa itaanza inchini Kenya. Na inaanza hivi karibuni. Number two, unasikia record ke, ke, Kenya is imeingia kwa league, top league. Sini mekuambia Kenya tunawajinga, werevu, engineer, innovators. Sasa Kenya imeingia kwa league. Ya zile nation jinga zaidi, zinategemea maombi kuleta development. <laughs> Na sijui ni nchingapi ziko hivo duniani. I think we are the only country now. Yani tumejoi ni league, maali ni sisi ndiyo tunaongoza. Where we are, our work, our leaders are calling it prayer nation. You pray for youth fund to come, you pray for youth development, you pray for women to develop, you pray for broad projects, you pray, you pray for madeni ishe. <laughs> and you don't pray for corruption ishe because in your prayers, you don't believe kuna kitu inaitua for corruption. So Kenya imengia your league, we are setting that standard. A country that expects development through prayers. Anybody can dispute that. Kazi yetu ni kuamuka asubuhi kwenda kanisani kuomba Mungu atusaidie nchi kuwe. Kuamuka tunaenda Narok uh, County Council ama ni muni ni, ni county uh, ya yeah, Narok uh, County tunaambia wafanyikazi usipokuja rally you are fired. You must come to pray for the nation. Thanksgiving and praying. That is Kenya. We are yet to see if there is any other country that has based its development on prayers. So basically what I'm saying is that uh, expecting Ruto or rather expecting a thief to bring you development. Kwa kikwetu tunaitanga ni kama kuexpect mbuzi ya cheke uki make joke. Yani kimbere tunasema madheka mambuli, yani mche, kucheka kwa, kwa mbuzi ni mbali mno hata ufanye vipi. Inajua inataka kujaribu kucheka unaona tu imefanya mdomo hivi. It's hard. It's the same as sitting here and expecting Ruto to perform. He has no clue. It is as simple as that. And he has no anayota of resemblance of anything he has ever tried. Because his biggest profession and what he believes in is stealing, corruption, utapeli. So if you listen to him talking, hapo jua kimaliza, angalia, subtitle is William Samoy Ruto. What he calls other people, that is him. That is his talent. I keep on giving an example. I'll use a t-shirt miyamoja for one million. A fact. <laughs> then thieves who follow him, wanasema he was smart. Yani mwizi, <laughs> ada supporti mwizi mingine, anasema ni smart. And then ukiwambia liba, unaulizo, na weo njini mbona, na weo mbona huku iba hata wewe. Siwa hata ungeenda uuze hizo t-shirt one million. So, Ruto is the leader of conmen, thieves who believe in ex deals. Again, that's another thing in Kenya. Unauliza mtu, bro, unafanya kazi gani? Atimini mfanyi biashara. Na huyo mtu na muonanga moi hathe ni utuwa kizunguka na suti. From government office to government office. Na naendesha V8. Then thieves say he's smart. So, Ruto is leading smart nation in quotes. Na ametoa smartness ameweka ni prayer nation. So, kwa hayo yote tukisema, the sum total, instead of wasting time, and Kenyans Zaza wame decide, the best is kutimua. And wa Kenya, ati munaambiwa, oh, sijui damu itamuagika. Sasa watu wa 1990 watajua damu inamuagika anga aje. Akina Alibaba huyu, what damu do they know? Ilimuagika wapi? 
where do they, what do they know about uh, they've never seen what mandamano is people don't know that nobody will go for mandamano in kenya anymore tulimaliza hiyo enzi ya mandamano mandamano ilikuwa ni mambo ya ngo kubeba placards kusema we want this we want this the era of mandamano gone the era now the new kid in the on the block is you gather you gather you resolve you decide and you move on you crash ukitaka kujua vizuri uliza gota baya atakueleza gota vibaya atakwambia what happened alitokea ile mlango inaitangwa mlango ndogo ya state house ile mtu uteremshwa na kamba alikuwa anateremshwa masanduku zake na kamba <laughs> akiponyoka kwenda because it was unstoppable it was unbuggable the power of the people and for me i'm inciting people motivating people whether you want to call incitement is whatever to me my constitution tells me i can incite people to take back what belongs to them we want our stolen right our stolen justice there are no two ways we are not bargaining we are not deciding we've decided i'm not asking to be rebutted to be asked you me vile nimesema what whether you you go on top of hilton or kenyatta conference center you cannot tell me anything different mimi nikuambia ngojea na mwili hapo kama wewe ni mwanaume ngoja kwa street tukuje tupite na wewe it might be yesterday it might be today it might be tomorrow it might be next minute don't ask me when because i don't have to come and tell you when we are coming kukungoa okay when i'm going to kill a thief i don't tell a thief at yamuka uende nakuja na nakuzunguka i burn that house i find you i sweep you i destroy you is there is no bargain so 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 all these things unasikia hizi hizi statistics zinafanywa ni watu tu wanataka ku, kuonyesha na kuchangia but the decision is long gone because even if you flip the coin to the other side useme ruto won alishinda na 200000 votes i'm just saying to be to, to be on the other to, to flip the coin is there anybody with his normal brain umeshinda mtu na, na kura 200000 would you behave the way ruto is behaving would you go to stamping would you go criticizing people you've defeated na 200 million a thousand hata kama tuseme angekuwa ameshinda kenyans should have removed such a guy because ni cartoon hata afadhali madagascar iliongozwa na dj na ikaendelea endelea this one ni mwizi wa ngombe ni mwizi wa mashamba ni mwizi wa wanawake ni mwizi wa kila kitu istakataka tu imevaa suti and i've have no reservation because for me i give respect to somebody who is respectable me ukiwa mwizi even if you are my son i would not and i would not even go to church to pray for you because there are things i would not bother god with okay so basically as kenyans we aturudi nyuma let's move on let's in fact baba anatuchelewesha nikimalizia is delaying us na hiyo bureaucracy sasa tumeona hiyo bureaucracy pia mahali imefika sasa imekuwa too much si tulikuwa tunataka jana ruto auwe wale ataua lakini na yati muke mbio na nimesikia Uganda intamkaribisha nimesikia huyo mzee huko anakuanga ni kama chameleon ukishikwa na samanga wewe sasa ulienda kucheza vibaya <laughs> anakugeuka sasa si jua atakibilia wapi sugo inaku atangolewa asubuhi i don't know where this guy will go and it's so unfortunate that african leaders die while watching ruto has a time right now to say enough na hii kitu acha ikae atoke lakini yeye ni mwanaume mkalenjini anasema ametairiwa atajua ajui atatairishwa mara ya pili <laughs> which which is normally very painful for those who undergo that kind of a thing so basically it is that serious kenyans don't care All right is only thieves and i keep saying here is only thieves that support ruto mtu yeyote ana support ruto 
ukichunguza tu vizuri ni mkamwizi fulani anakaushetani kawizi fulani hiyo ni hiyo hiyo mimi nimeprove msimizi mtu wa jana i've worked with people i've seen how kenyans steal i've seen some kenyans who are so good who are, straight, who are very good who run organization but i also know how they steal in kenya is where you budget what to steal <laughs> una budget what to steal you know this project will be 10 billion na you can 22 billion 12 billion is a kuiba zinapitishwa ki budget kabisa zinapita tu hata zinapitishwa na finance baka rais ana sign zinaenda acha ni pose hapo alafu nitakuja makiadi mambo ni mengi <laughs> uh, thank you uh, stone pk mambo ni mengi masandi machache na ona line imekuwa mrefu uh, mise unajua uliko umeongea ni naona kuna watu wameingia wapi i'll give you a minute and uh, see a minute dakika moja moja tu alafu tutarudi kwenu tuko hapa tuko hapa yes. saturday thank you very much i i uh, you know sometimes we lose i think um, it's painful to sit and listen to what is called delusion. You know, uh, it is also painful to hear um, our brother Yaston Piquet calling Ruto, Ruto supporters or people who believe or who have given the benefit of doubt to um, the current government as people who are possessed with the spirit of theft. I think that is very, um, um, I would call it barbaric, and um, highest level of delusion. Number two, the, let us not be drunken stupor uh, that um, we come here, spend hours to talk about issues that cannot help people to develop and move forward. When we come here and keep talking about, oh, we are taking down this government, oh, we are doing this, we are doing, that is not helpful. That is not helpful. If we are telling one another the truth, the truth is there are more serious issues that will help us progress as a country. If you think Ruto is not um, having progressive ideas, why don't you give your progressive ideas instead of, uh, of uh, why don't you suggest, because in Kenya, we have uh, the School of, of Public Management where there is policy formulation, where we have uh, policy reviews. Let's talk about policy issues and they are open to review the current policies that, that we have. If you have these great ideas that can um, um, make our country uh, succeed, please let us channel them because it's also tiresome to come and identify ourselves as people of uh, UDA, as people of uh, Azimio. Personally, this year, I do not want to identify of uh, a person who is supporting who, but as a person who is coming here to give ideas on how we can progress and not to under or, or pin down our leaders. Let me tell you something. Kenya is a Christian country. As much as we want to dismiss this, it is constitutional uh, uh, that there are two in terms of religion. Let me stop there. But what I want to say is that God allows certain leaders to be there for a reason. Now we have the president. Can we undo that? Jeremiah Kioni said, we can't undo that. We asked, did we ask the president to undo or to, to um, go and undo the handing over? It is not possible. What can we do? There comes a time when our country is greater than individuals. If we come and discuss about individuals every day, we become trivial. We become perennial complainers, drunken stupors. But if we come here and identify areas that we can grow, uh, areas that we can correct, areas where we cannot repeat the same mistakes that we made, if there were issues of election irregularities, ir election uh, reforms, I think we can be progressive more than coming and complaining every day. How about we come and bring positive vibes? How about tell people that you, um, Change starts with you. That's what I wanted to put across. Thank you. Uh, Stone, Stone, before you rebut that, let me give uh, Ndusi a minute, just a minute. Public participation. Ngojea tu kidogo na kujakua kosai. 
Thank you, Bwana Richie. And um, I just wanted to respond right to Missy. I think he talked a while ago and then he has just talked something right now. Talking about how taxes are working in Canada. I mean, and they are not working in Kenya. If you are paying the taxes to the Queen, you know, that's, that's, that's your problem. You should be knighted by the royal family for paying them whatever they are paying. So it's inconsequential compared to Kenya. We are talking about the country. So, and I mean, for now, Ruto is trying to, you know, grab anything. You know, these are people who are being swept by water, try to grab whatever they can hold into it. When everything is not working for them, they jump onto Raila, they jump onto Uru, they jump, you know, everything that comes their way. And I mean, I even heard him, you know, say, you know, this money budgeted for Mandamando should be channeled to the to whatever to to, to to the development of the country. Surely. What budget are you talking about? I mean, people are volunteering to come and you know take this guy out of the way because if you compare somebody like ruto or, or no kebaki who was not eloquent like ruto he would sit you know comfortably and say all kind of nonsense but he had said structures that nobody bothered whether kebaki what he was doing whether he was drinking whether he's golfing whether he was doing what Nobody cared about it. He didn't have to give all these big speeches. He didn't go, you know, he didn't go like uh, Ngashagwa climbing on the mountain and drinking water with the, on the river like a cow, you know, trying to pretend that the God of the mountains will hear. You, you know, there are some point whereby you keep on, you know, pounding about religion, but you have to show with actions. Kibaki put systems. Everybody was working. I mean, if you saw police, they were being arrested by the public because everybody, you know, was busy and whatever you are distracting the people, people will take you out. People will arrest you. So right now, we are just pointing out the problem. What is the solution? The solution is not Ruto to be there because he doesn't know what he's doing. So it's a matter of you know, whichever means now to take him out, you know, you go there through the window and you go through the window when people are fed up. Because can you imagine, he lied to people that you bring all these mamambogas and everybody and giving them 50 shillings and then, you know, whatever, what was the $500? 500 uh, shillings and then, you know, He's still taking interest out of 500 shillings, surely. And the same money is the one that they are stealing right now. So sometimes we say we need to be reasonable and look into, you know, what is happening. I mean, these guys, they have been doing that for years during the YK92. He's still doing it today. I mean, sometimes you've got to change. Ruto has been just... I think even his mother, if she was candid enough, she can tell you this child started stealing when she was when he was crawling. You know, this guy will never change. So he better be taken out of it. I mean, we are seeing what is happening. If Canada, you are paying taxes, you know, wherever we live, you are paying taxes, you can see where it goes. I live here in Virginia. We pay taxes, we see where it goes. But you are taxing Kenyans. And they can see where the money is going. The guy just comes out there and runs around and he just go there and, you know, do, does nothing. You know, we have, you know, there's an allegorical story in my community that says, if you, if you slaughter a bloated cow, stop looking for a calf, you know, the, the, the ndama, like it was pregnant. Stop looking in the, in the you know. In the digestive system, they, it wasn't pregnant. There is nothing. You are looking the wrong thing in the wrong, you know, you're looking the, you know. So Ruto is looking anything he can find to get distracted. He's distracting with 
saying maandamano of Raila. Raila is trying to, even is not Raila, everybody, if Raila wasn't there, people are going to uprise on him because everybody is being pushed. He's giving people fertilizers. It's not raining right now, but if after the next budget, you see how much money was spent on fertilizers. When no way, and even Trukana will be one of the places where he's sending the fertilizers. They have never seen rain up there, but you know, because they have to channel. As you know, um, Stone Stone PK said, this guy used to sell hundred t-shirts for a million. He's going to sell fertilizers in Maralal and and, and Trukana, and you'll be we send it to them because he's used to putting things. He's going to label them, you know, so. I think it's a system Yamanjabazim, but they have to be kicked out. So that's all I have to do to say. You know, they have to see where the money is going. So thank you so much, guys. Hi. Thank you, my brother Ndusi. Uh, Stone PK, is it to put to public participation na fasi kidogo ama ni kupatia na fasi 30 seconds. Naona mikono imekuwa mingi. Ichi kipita itakuwa mbaya sababu mimi sasa nataka isikie na wale watu wanatusikiza our followers i will take one minute one minute um, my dear followers people who listen to us and uh, these are kenyans of true character um, if we were to even ask another quick survey what is the current problem in kenya the answer, even the nursery school kid will give you. But Misa will not get it because he's the one who is delusioned. He's using Kizunguming to prove he's like Ruto. Ruto anaropokangwa mambo mingi, Kumbia is describing himself. Misa is delusioned. He's saying that we should be here contributing how good things should be done. How do you contribute how good things should be done when the person who is there is a thief? Nimuizi. The biggest problem in Kenya today, Mise, if you don't know, toka Canada kimbia nyumbani ukajue, jusiju na ungea na watu gani, the biggest problem in Kenya today is that Ruto stole elections. Sijui tupande mulima, kilimanjaru tuambie Mise. Eh? So coming here to give us useless lectures, at oh, sijui stone PK, is, is false, the nini is... is the truth of the matter is anybody following Ruto is a thief because he believes in Wizi. That's the truth. And then he is he's lying to us that, that nothing can be changed. I think, sorry, Ruto. I mean, uh, uh, sorry, Bwana Misa. Kwa ni umezaliwa year 2000 plus, sincerely speaking. I know that's personal. But you shock me that it is, it is, it is unchangeable. You can dare say that on this TV when things are happening all over the world. Ebu niambie ni hapo kwa comment whether I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe Bruto, Nani, uh, Misa is so experienced and me ni, me, ni me retrogress, I think. That nothing can be done when a thief is in power? Really? Really? Yeah, nothing can be done when you have people seated in, in Canada pretending to be Kenyans. Yeah? But Kenyans who matter are on the ground and they are going to take to make changes. It's only mutu kipovu awezi yona. What is it you saw in Jakaranda? What are you hearing in Kenya? That's why I've said I never, in fact, I don't know why I'm engaging with UDA followers. Uh, because I might, naeza shikwa na yu ya wizi and retrogressive thinking. So, Richie, I'm telling our followers not to listen to people like Mize. At saying people here are coming to, to, we don't want to advise thieves. I can't use my ideas kupeana kwa ruto. The idea na peana to na peana mori to ngatue ruto atoke. Even prayers are now being given. Watu wanasema prayers. And I told you in Kenya, there are tribes that pray for bad people to die. Even you as a kisi, munaombanga hivo mtu wa shikwe na rada usiku kama ni muizi. That, those are the prayers that are going on in Kenya today. And it is so bad. Kwa kikwetu tunasemanga ukiona una uwezi kuota shadow ya, mwe, ya, ya kidole when most multitude point you and cry in your name you, are, you will perish Ruto is going to perish even before we remove him from that seat 
because he's a thief and he continues to steal, he continues to lie, he continues to cheat, he continues to do all the evil things. Thank you, Richie. Aya, wacha kwanza eh, Joshua nitakuja kwako next eh. Wacha nipatie public participation eh, nafasi pia aonge. Uh, nimeona Joshua yuko hapo Alibaba alafu karaoke nimewaona nyote. So wacha tupatie public participation karibu. Thank you. Thank you Richie. Happy New Year. Uh don't forget I salute you Joshua Otolo. This eh, the prodigal son Domi uh, Calvin, Kireta, Joseph Kariuki, and Alibaba. Alibaba and, and the 40 people are in the world. So, uh, you know, these UDA people, they are a prodigal son. You know, these UDA people, they are a prodigal son. You have gone to far away country and you are eating with pig. Na, Unaacha baba unaacha baba yako na kwenu unaenda kukula nini sasa one day they'll come back to their senses that's what i believe hiyo group ya mise mzalendo mm, duke mwingine anaitwa black hawa watu they are prodigal sons nikisikia makiadi akisema mambo ya atp eh zakaya alikuwa na good ideas which good idea that guy has never had a good idea other than ideas of stealing. Jamaa Jai kwa na, na, na even when he was campaigning, he was not campaigning with anything else, he was campaigning with, with the big four, which was Uhuru's idea. So say al kwa na campaign na big four, which idea, he, 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 ideas are neighbor. Hmm? I'll not be shocked kwa na tena anatumia as the new ideas, ama, ama manifesto kuiba. That's a kind of a character. Na unajua, in a semen kananga mtu akishafikisha certain age they cannot change you cannot you cannot teach an old dog new tricks he is an old dog or a old aina we are talking about this guy when you tell us here that uh this guy has good ideas this guy can perform okay when you want to check on someone you check on their past uh, at, uh, uh throughout his, his life or his adult life Zakayo has been in politics, and uh, in 2008, he entered into government now. He became a minister of agriculture, minister of higher education, then akatoka hapo, akaenda sasa kwa deputy president. Can you tell me anything which this guy did, an achievement? I want some, these prodigal sons of ours, they really see why, you know, at times you see us like, we are we are against this guy, but if you it just logically, just logically by the way, what did this guy do in any docket where he was, which we can say that now this is a good thing that came. There's the way we talk about Magoha, eh? That Alikwa CS, yes, so he, 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 his contribution to the country is very clear. Nobody can dispute. Tell Alikwa kwa CS agriculture, I'm a minister of agriculture. Is the time when Alianza na history of fertilizer. Hmm? As you can see now, it has become like the, 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 the main agenda in this government is fertilizer. Eh, fertilizer, fertilizer, fertilizer. Paka unashindwa sasa. Eh? Sasa, <laughs> you know, the, he started your mambo ya wizi, I mean, uh, corruption through fertilizer. The same thing, that you are doctor, your agriculture. So what do you expect from a character like that? Do you expect him now? I'm a government, I'm a draw all the loopholes. I'm a I'm a Ingilia KPLC, I'm a Iba tokens, I'm a Tumia Mukia, Kapa Kuba tokens, I'm a Fanya all kinds of corruption, I'm a Chua Pesan CDP and a Lipa Dadayake, and farmers are languishing, they are, not, they are being paid in installment after one year. You know, we cannot lie to ourselves. The, past, the future is pretty. They, they say the more things change, the more they say the same. And history repeats itself. So, this guy, we know his history. One. You will not come here to sanitize somebody who is a died in the wool. Even I don't know if it's a thief, but this is even a, a good name. Eh? Jambazi Sugu. Unajule Jambazi Sugu mwenye. Hata kama akosawa, hata kama, you know, the people lose still because of luck. Yeah, is those Jambazi Sugu who is the Amo Jambazi Ipo Kwadamu? 
is in the blood. So, so even, even when he doesn't need to steal, Lazima has steal. And all that I can tell, this guy never had any good idea, not even one. As you can see, this, the so-called Asla Pantioio, it's just a conduit for corruption. Anything that this guy involves himself with, any, anything you hear him championing, where don't, there is no, there is no development or anything there for Mwanainti. Nile is a conduit for him to steal. Like now, he uh, has La Fund. Has La Fund is just a conduit. Ni, a way of, of looting the money by making it look like the money was lent to Kenyans who didn't pay. That is what it is. So, Anatomy, a kid dog of bear bear out to five, five hundred, and then the, the majority of the money in Aibua, then we will mean it's a work. And I could have to be that you know, in Pesa Ilienda na na has class to you are pair Pesa Hawaku. So, anything if you want to understand a uh, 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 Zakaios mentality and how to think, Angalia do anything he's really passionate about. Anything. It is a conduit for theft. It is a at a remember a fertilizer. You wonder what is the priority in this country? Is it fertilizer or an image? So yeah, the shouldn't the priority then because what what will you need fertilizer for if there is no water? Huh? Why isn't he draining uh, uh, drilling boreholes? Why isn't he working on the issue of dams? Because Iso, he anonymized the, the percentage of the, the money he can make out of those things uh, and uh, fertilizer. Fertilizer, and it, it, it can give him a big cut. Hmm? So now it's just fertilizer. Since, uh, since we started with this so called government, Yani Unezata Kiria fertilizer and it's still in Nini. It is like what you want to say about it because Harambe fertilizer. Harambe, yani it has become a Fertilizer, fertilizer, back on a sugar, what's all this? And the so called fertilizer that are expired, this thing now coming to be sold here. Hmm? Next, Mambo at DMO. Eh? At the DMO, it's a fine base. It's a fine base, you get there. And yet, we know from the people who have, who have worked with this DMO that DMO, after the first uh, season, in a rebu soil, eh? in a who are resistant to, to pests and whatever, is of pesticide and whatever. They, they, it becomes resistant, so you have to use more fertilizer, you have to use more pesticides, acaricides, so herbicides, you have to use more. So meaning that what he wants, na, na this registration your farmers, and you have to register for the fertilizer, is actually a way of outlawing indigenous seeds. You have to let a GMO, so that you can now also make money from the GMO. So can you ask, please, let's not lie to ourselves hmm? and lie to to Kenyans here that this guy has any other agenda other than Kuiba. Okay? Looting. And do you see, here at Yamianza side, you know, if I accuse you of being a thief, or I accuse you of anything, and maybe you have never done it, you've done it once or twice, you, your lawyer can defend you and say, you know, this was a mm, this was a, a slip of death. But this guy, we cannot say that he ni karakter yake buwana. At least it's him at the Okay, so then you are No, 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 no. Mtu mwenye anaenda anasema uh, policy ya KPLC ya mbao itolewe so that aneza eka yake ya concrete ni mtu ya inajani. Hmm? That guy understand even by the time he was deputy he had, he had separate account to the tune of like seven whereby he's getting uh, he's getting money from each and every uh, place where for example the places which had a CS who was nominated by him electricity, kuna polls, kuna tokens, uh, police, wana, they are being leased for cars, as you are saying, I'm going to make a new one, I'm going to make a So, I'm going to make a new one, I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to make a new one. I'm going Let's not lie to ourselves. The mission of this government is killing. Easily to think that they are just dressing, top dressing. Hmm? Ndiyo yonekana ni kama kuna kazi wanafanya, but behind the scenes, it is just stealing, stealing and more stealing. By April, electricity inaenda kutika 78%. Right now, currently, if you put a token of 500 shillings, the, the amount of the token you'll get near 235 shillings. That is more than half going to taxes. And still, that to the, this government is not enough. Wanataka sasa by April, watueke wa hike by 78%. 
industries which are using electricity. Now, when I say all the time, we are not subsidizing consumption, we are, we are subsidizing production. But the main, one of the key factors of uh, production in Kenya is electricity. So if you cannot subsidize electricity, meaning you subsidize. Hmm? Industries, it's a bit easy to talk at the end of Ethiopia or any other place where they can afford electricity. Because if you are using electricity at a large scale in Kenya, you cannot. Because if you try to pass that cost of production to your customers, what are you going to do? Something else or cheaper brands. And I said it here yesterday. This guy is even, at his own tax, tax, the tax regimen which he wants to bring up. They cannot work because you see it's coming from production. So if production is impossible, you can't make your, you, you can't be able to, to get back your, the, 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 at cost. Hmm? You can't. Then you want to, already Kenyans are too squeezed. Then now you want to teach them more. Because if you hike electricity, you have hiked everything. But have everything in Kenya, uh, pro which is produced, we use electricity. So meaning that, come on, I'm going to use electricity to pay I have to pass the, the, the cost to you. So what happens to Kenyans? So the Africa point out is on Mikate and Anini, we are not using anymore. Majority of Kenyans are poor people, they can't afford. That's what tax nani. And this is something which was very clearly illustrated. If, for example, you go and tax the system at Aska, you tax it, it becomes too exorbitant. What happens for how? What will happen is that there is now going to be the, the people who are taking Tasca, they'll move to a cheaper brand or they'll go to illicit, brand, uh, illicit whatever. Yeah. And that is what is happening to the economy of Kenya. If you go, even if you go to the supermarket now, still a more, more expensive brands, they are getting shelves out. Because how now are you going to choose between your basic, your, your, you know, so the less. Is the purchasing power because of these taxes, because taxes just translate to the the amount of money people will spend will be more. Mm -hmm. But how especially on uh, on a key factor of production like electricity, so you spoil that industry. Your your tasker, which are finding our funge, but about now their customers are moved to what they can afford. So the, even the little taxes that you are getting from them, which you are saying they are too low, uta cost ayote. And this Zakaya Mtoza Ushuru, ni Mtaka Viote. He wants everything. He wants, eh? How can, surely, eh? trying to tell us that 3 trillion, we have to collect 3 trillion by, by, I don't know, your trade when is it much? So, you really wonder, where does he expect this kind of money to come from? Kenyans are highly, right now, as we are talking, first of all, umetua subsidies. Okay. Right now, as we speak, so many children are still in the house. For Sababu, you have to subsidy a fee. Because Kenyans can't afford. Let's not like, like in Nairobi, 60, at least 60% of the residents, residents are living in slum area. How do you expect somebody who's living in a slum to afford the kind of fees which, are, which now are, are, are going to about 50, 60K for, for high school? Do you expect such a, I mean, now to a slum, they have so many kids. So what are you doing now? Are you now, you want Kenyans to be literate? Unatua help? Then the, the, the funny thing, you know, is there's a lot of PR at the exchange hospital fund to to to, to, to NHIF. Changing the name does not, eh? what does it affect? Hmm? Niki change, niki change fund, ni ite ilikuwa hospital fund, sasa ni seme inaitu NHIF. Is there any value of added into that? So you can see the kind of jokers we are having here. And there's no technocrats who are in this government. What we're in your for is just a zombie, uh, uh, just psycho fans and, and, and fellow tags, experts in stealing. They are technocrats in stealing. So those are the people who are there. Where's the money expert Kama Magoha? The late Magoha may still rest in peace. Yenye unayaka kwa nini ana avaluad. Ana change. Because he's an expert, he's a technocrat, and he's a... Saizu tu kona watu wengine, hata kama Aisha Jumo, I don't even understand, I don't even know the people who are working with her are not working with her. It's totally clueless of the department in your memory. Hmm? Then you have to be secretary, you have to be a secretary, you have to be a secretary, because you have to be a secretary, you have to be a secretary.
is the unfortunate situation we find ourselves. So bwana nani wala na different dia miss our prodigal son. Na tunawapenda sana watu wa UDA because by the way nowadays membership yetu ya Zimi imeongezeka sana after a lot of hustlers realizing that u jamaa amewakon na amewadanganya. You do them. Eh? In fact say wanalia sana hata siku nyingine unye alikuwa hapa zi wapi in town city city market. Na wakamwambia help us help us. Yeye tulikuwa tunaona wewe ni mbaya but, but we, we are now in worse position. Ju kama kuna mtu ana right now anaumia in this country is a hustler. Kwa sababu all subsidy yenye ilikuwa inasaidia hustler imeenda. Ya mtu mzee mkongwe maskini imeenda. Ya mama okoa mama imeenda. Those are poor women eh, who are benefiting from okoa mama from nini ya ya wazee. Subsidy ya fees, subsidy ya ya, ya maize meal. Hmm? Hizo zote and electricity subsidy you are subject to kerosene kwa sababu tu watu wa islam wanapitanga na kerosene eh they were benefiting from this thing so much and uh, and uh, and uh, the kayo mzo za ushuru lied to them that i'll even bring you more i'll even help you more i'll do more and now he came and even removed the he took away the little they had ya ya bible inasemanga mwenye alikuwa na kidogo ilichukuliwa na mwenye alikuwa na mingi nyingine ikaongezewa so that's the kind of a government we are having now it's very unfortunate because majority of our people are Kenyans sasa kama wewe unaweza jita serikali and you cannot be able to facilitate majority of your population which kind of a government are you you are not so is that we why we want this government out we want a government we don't have a government what we are having now is a is a, 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 a gang of thieves we don't have it is not a government Seriously. And and wangalie functions of government anywhere. These guys they are not fulfilling any function of government. Na sasa ni kutupatia side shows mara wamefanya hii imekuwa sasa side shows to divert us from the fact that almost six months down the almost five months five months down the line almost six. They have completely achieved nothing. Nothing. You and I want you to tell me what they have achieved. They have achieved zero, negative. In fact not zero, negative. They have nothing to show. Nothing. So sasa ni kutu entertain hapa na drama mingi to divert us from their non-performance and their stealing. Eh? We cannot, we cannot let them destroy, because they are destroying the country. These guys, if, if at this stage, this is where we are. What will happen by 2027? Uh, 2027. 2027. What will happen? The country will be kaput. Hmm? Taizi already we have been marked red for money laundering and other funny things. Eh? Our country is in danger after the good name, the, the high and positive name of uh, which Kenya had by the time Uhuru was leaving the city. The, the, the. Nowadays, that are too hard. Yet at the end, that so called president of Venezuela, Uyu, Venezuela elect. At the end, that are too hard. Yet at the end, that are too hard. Our name has gone down. At our fellow people here who are much lower than Tanzania and Uganda, they are just laughing at us because tunanunua aje tunaje imefika point the cost of production is too high that tunanunua machungwa kwao tunanunua mayai kwao because kama utakuja ku produce hapa Kenya na unatumia electricity mayai utauza 500 per day hao wanaweza uza 300 kwa sababu electricity yao iko sawa they are not being uh, having artificial high eh, which is now bringing too much na kuna example nilitumia hapa ya textbook It's a textbook in this country it has become a cartel ukikuwa ukikuwa na mtoto mwenye ako behind behind the wambele the next year huyu akikuja kwa hii mwaka wana change textbook syllabus is the same lakini they so Kenya is full of those cartels na sasa hizi ulisikia kuri akisema that tutatoa hii mambo ya cartel ya uniform what they are, being, they are trying to tell you is that we are going to now be the new cartel for the uniform for the text his or textbook the same textbook which is costing in Kenya 700 Zilipeleka Rwanda the president was like if the book is more than 100 shilling it should not be in anywhere near a, a, a shop in this country and that is the role of government the role of government is not coming here to hike everything so that they can loot maximum looting privatize every first of all in the first place the reason, the reason why these state owned corporations or, or parasitals are not working eh is because of of corruption and we have a president who has come in and said that corruption is not a deterrent for development how eh 
if at all uh, we are losing two billion a day, that, that, that translates to one third of the revenue. So if one third is going to corruption and then you tell us corruption cannot affect development, how? If it was not affecting, why are you asking us for more money? If corruption cannot affect development, why ask us for more money? That's the question. Hmm? Because if that third year in end of corruption it is of no consequence, you to me a basi or two third in my back is a corruption cannot affect development. So this is the kind of uh, madness which we are having in this country. Corruption is the problem, biggest number one problem we are having in this country. Nothing else. Eh? Then we are the high priest of corruption, Sasa Mengia Hapo, telling us, Yani, totally telling us that you, you can fully expect corruption in this government. At I will not even pretend that I'm fighting corruption. Eh? And, I, and the only thing I can lie to you is how corruption cannot affect development. Eh? That's the kind of a situation you are finding out, which is very, very, very terrible and sad. And Kenyans of all of goodwill and Kenyans who love their country, we have to do everything in our power to remove these people. Because let me tell you, there is it to Nongi Ahapa, within the next three to five years, this country will just go down to dog. Eh? And I told you right now already, black market is very vibrant in Kenya. Because people can't afford to put me at the, the normal commodity. So, I mean, get for black marketing using uh, probably things which are, uh, there's they no certification or kind of check. So, even we're endangering our, 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 our citizens because they have become so desperate. For example, Hakuna Pesa. Hakuna Pesa Kabisa. If at all, guy wants to make three trillion in, in, to, in, within, within three months, it's a talk about it. He has to squeeze every single coin out of Kenya. Hmm? That's my submission. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you so much, uh, public participation. Uh, I will not add anything to that well described. Watch any party, Joshua, and then to what uh, line now, uh, Joseph Karaoke should be next. Alibaba ni mekuona maali umetoka, lakini na jwenye mliku hapa ni tawapati yaga dakika moja kwanza adi the new people. Ngoja tu dakika moja, ngoja dakika moja nimekuona. Joshua. So, asante mbwanachea na wengine wa kenya nzangu. Anaitua nani anetoroka? Alibaba. Alibaba. Na mwenzake mbae wakupale juyo mbwana lawyer. Nataka kuuliza swali moja what is the meaning of social services what is the work of social services alafu ndo niendelee ni kama wamechukua break waendelea tu kwanza eh unajua kuna kitu inaitwa social services ambaye huyu anasema ati kutoka ka Canada ati wanalipa UK Kwa nino nalipa UK? Ata Kenya nalipa UK. Wasije kutudanganya sisi ya. We pay. Tulikuwa tulikoloniwa na, na, na British. So pia sisi tunawalipa. Uyu bwana Alibaba kama ndugu yake ambaye tunamuita Alibaba Zakayo ambaye ni muizi. Wako na timu ambaye ni ajabu sana. Hawa ni majambazi. Hata pikea nesema vizuri sana. Ni grupi unajua wale hokas wanaendaga kule kule risafu munaenda, wanaenda kuchukua mboga za mtu wanasema uh, wataleta pesa badai. Ndo hii grupi ya kinaruto. Ukiangalia safari kwa at the moment hiyo pesa ambayo likuwa na piana shilingi miatano. Alafu wanachukua percent Ya, ya watu pesa angalia ile 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 percent wanatoa kwa hiyo 500 kuna 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 namba inepewa pale ukifuatilia hiyo namba hiyo code number na si kitu atiniwafiche inaenda direct mpaka Nigeria na unajua jina ya Nigeria huyo mwenye yako na hiyo jina hiyo namba ya Nigeria ni nani Uyo msichana wake ambaye anaolewa huko Nigeria. 
this is too much. Yaani wa Kenya wako nyumbani wanapewa shilingi yani hao hao hustler wanapewa shilingi tano and the rest hiyo pesa ambayo ana cut ambayo alikuwa anasema wanawekewa inaingia Nigeria to another account Sasa nataka niulize huyo ambaye anajiita lawyer huyo sijui ndo mnamuita nani na huyo uh, Alibaba watueleze ndio ujue Ruto anafikiria tu ujui hao watu wote wako hapo wanasoma Ya yeah? na tunaanza kutambua siri zote zile Ruto ako na jeshi yake. Ako na polisi wake. South South Uganda. Karibu na Tororo. Na anaweka karibu na Homa Bay so that anaweza ku attack anytime. Malicious wako Kenya. Kina muru comment. Ndio kwa sababu wanazungumza matope. Sikuizi azungumzi inakuwa ni sudi sikuizi wanatembea na helikopter ya ya Kenya Air Force Kenya Airways ama Kenya Air Force sorry Air Force One. Can you imagine wale wanaishi America just raia waingie kwa kwa, kwa ndege ambaye Biden anaende anatembea nayo Ndio jua watu wanaichukua ni kama inakuwa ni yani boda boda They don't respect the army forces they don't respect our yani our ata nyanya zetu sasa hii ukienda upande wa kibira wanachukua ile ati makanisa inachukua watu ati wanawahamishwa unaambia oh, kuna kuna rori ya bure eh, wale wanataka kurudi risafu ya yeah? tunawapatia tunawapatia transport ya wale wanataka kurudi nyumbani why wanajaribu punguza the population of wale wa watu wa azimio ama population ambayo walikuwa wapigi kura unajua sisi tunapumbazwa kabisa yani live inakuwa so horrible and then my colleague here ambaye anasema ana, ana oh najua sijui nini ai 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 what is the meaning of the law? Huyu Masis yundo anaitwa Musis yundo nani ana, kila wakati anaandika vitu hapo kutukonfuse anasoma sheria. Sheria lazima ifatwe. Kwanza yeye ndo anatakana kupata sheria kuliko wengine wote. Every time the same story. Hao watu wote wanelipwa kuja kufanya upuzi hapa. Wanelipwa they are not here for nothing sisi tunajitolea hapa kusaidia wananchi ambao wako nyumbani nyinyi wa Kenya mko hapa sasa hizi mnatuma pesa kila wakati nyumbani kutumia mpesa angalia ile rate unakatwa na ikifika huko ile mbili unetuma let me say the truth unetuma mbili ule mtu anaenda kukatwa 25% of that amount of money unetuma Alafu hawa na majangili wanakuja hapo wanetumwa. Si unaona wanatoroka. Wataki ni, nionge, wanajua naongea. Watu kama Alibaba alizaliwa jana. So, let me tell you. Kama wata fiki hawa saa ninaona ndugu yangu hapa anekisi mtoto. Wale wako nyumbani hata wana nguvu ya kukisi mtoto wake. Wana li, w, mtoto analia uji, analia chakula. Na hapa mwingine anakisi mtoto wako kwa sababu wanaishi maisha mazuri they don't care about other people down there hao watu wako hapo wote ni wasomi ambao tuko nje lakini tembea huko nyumbani uone reality pikea anazungumza hapa na uchungu nikijua wote ambao wanazungumza hapa wanazungumza na uchungu dada yetu anazungumza na uchungu kwa sababu their parents wana watoto wanajua kule watu nyumbani wanaumia mimi hata majirani wengine sikuwa nawajua, wanashajua namba yangu. Oh mtoto wetu, oh sijui nini hiyo oh, mtoto. Eh? Inakuwa sasa nakuru ndio inakuwa central of criminals. Washatengeneza kanisa moja mtu yote anaweza kugogo. Ya ghost uh, ghost worshipers. Eliminate 
Who is the owner of that? Ruto. Alafu ndugu yangu judge hata anafanya vizuri akaja aniambie what is the meaning of social services? Na ndio hiyo Raira anasoma hapa Ujerumani anajua the meaning of this. Na ndio alikuwa analeta ile mambo ya 6000. Exactly that is it. Tanzania walikuwa natumia hiyo kitu kitambo. Ndio kwa sababu Nyerere alikuwa akisema ukitaka kwenda London mbona msiende Nairobi? Sikuizi Tanzania ukimwambia je Nairobi atakuja? Huyu hmm. jamaa majambazi anapewa hapa mbolea ya bure anakuja kuuzia watu elfu sita. Kila kitu anapewa mkopo si anachukua. Biden anemwambia nini leo asubuhi? Mr President Ruto. Walimu kwa America kama mnisoma hiyo kitu mniambie. Mr President Ruto, either you stop corruption or we'll stop you. Na tuta kuingiza kwenye kitabu Black Book. Na utapata mkopo yoyote katika World Bank. Imagine. Alafu hapa kina wako Canada na mwingine hapa Alibaba anakuja kwanza na jina 27 CJ 227 is painful. Na ndugu yangu hapa alikuwa anapiga mtoto wake kiss, watoto wengine huko uji wanashindwa kunywa. Watoto wanakula, yani ushasikia mtu anakojoa mkom, anakojoa kwenye 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 stocking ndani ya ndani anaweka mchanga ndani ya stocking alafu ana, ana, anafinya eh ati maji ya kunywa wengine wanaosha uso na na, 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 na ma, mkojo wa ngombe really and then one of us here is a lawyer is talking nonsense watu wanasomea wanasomea law hey Okay, let me leave it like that. Uyo, uyo ndugu yangu loya, niambie mambo ya social service na mimi, na manisha ni. Aya, safi ndugu Joshua, tutakuja kwako. Uh, nani ya medrop, uh, what's his name? Okay, sasawa. Kuna moja ambaye likuwa mengoja hapa kwa mdamrefu, lakini ya medrop ni sasawa tu. Nita pata na fasi ya, oh, uh, merudi ngoja. Dakika moja tu. I think alikuwa mengoja hapa kwa mdamrefu waka drop, but uh, I can see his back. And uh, Joseph Karioki, Karibu. Pichi, Mambo, long time. <coughs> Ni wife I likwena nisumbua pa kidogo. Uh, <coughs> I wanted to respond to Mise uh, and uh, help him kidogo. You cannot come and uh, <coughs> tell us to give you ideas and already you, are starting, you have already started to mess the country. Hawezi kukuja tuambia ati unataka tukupatia ideas ama tukue tukitoa ideas za vile wewe unataka ku run the country. Na already umesha the path you have taken already is a destruction path. I was reading just uh, the other day nilikuwa nasoma just like one month ago nilikuwa nasoma ati wanataka kufanya budget ya 3.6 trillion. You know nilijaribu ku understand what they are trying to do lakini si kuelewa how can you how can you have a budget of 3.6 trillion na already 1 trillion auna ya kufanya hiyo ya, ya ku ya ku budget hiyo budget yako that you need some loan 659 billion and you need to to add tax to people so that you raise the 1 trillion why can we not uh, go by our means Kwa nini tusiende na means zetu? Why do we need uh, to to tukue kama sisi ati tunataka ku reach another level in another country? Why can we not go through our means? So I cannot uh, come here and uh, help you in uh, managing something that you have already started failing. And another day also I was hearing Farah Marin. Alikuwa anaongea another sensible thing. He was talking about Tanzania. He saying that Tanzania in another one two years if we continue the same tra trajectory, Tanzania is going to surpass Kenya economy. Because as we as we look now, Kenya, what are we what 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 are we doing to 
what are we what are we doing so far in the in the in the east africa region kama ni gas ama ni pipeline ya mafuta ilichukuliwa na Tanzania kama ni port services tunasikia hata watai kutumia port services zetu Tanzania is adding the port services and uh, the port uh, numbers in uh, Dar es Salaam what are we doing what are we doing there is nothing we are doing and so far the six months that Ruto has been in power he's just talking about things that even cannot help uh, uh, the, the common man hmm? Naona tena network inamsumbua. We'll give him a moment akirudi ataendelea but uh, meanwhile Oh you back endelea. Ah, sorry. Ni wifi Endele. inanisumbua Rich. Rich ni wifi inanisumbua pole sana. Na I think iko low. So uh, me what I was I was trying to to, to tell me say uh, you cannot come here and tell us to help you with ideas. Already the ideas that Raila had Those were the only ideas I thought they could have helped us. Hakuna ideas zingine zingekuja from another place. There is no because even if you compare the manifesto that uh, the manifesto that Tuto was bringing and compare na ile ya, ya Raila. There kwanza hapo ndipo nilikuwa hapo ndipo palifanya ni support Raila totally. Ungeangalia hiyo manifesto na ukuwe wewe ni mtu unaweza soma you could have known where we are headed. Ungejua tu where we are headed and that we are headed for doom. Jana alikuwa anasema about uh, hustler fund that the hustler fund siju yet i'm going to add the limit how can you add a limit to a hustler fund that we are being taxed to give you the money to give us back to loan us what is that yani nalipa tax au unachukua pesa yangu ya tax unakuja tena unaniambia ti unanipatia pesa ya biashara nianzishe biashara then nikurudishie <laughs> what are we doing You know we have become just a we have become just a useless nation ama useless country hata everything in Kenya imekuwa ni vifari yani hakuna kitu inaendelea all we see ni kuiba umesikia left right and center circles what yani we have become siju inch yetu imekuwa yani just like con artist kila mtu ni con artist there is nothing that is happening because we have been shown from the roots to be part of the leaders about they talk this today tomorrow they talk this leo nakwambia that uh, i'm going to do this the next day amebadilisha mdomo wake how how can we be led by people like this you cannot come and tell me that you are going to help my kids in another 10 years then your your mouth is just like uh, it it always twist how will i trust you that you be there for my kids ama you uh, my, uh, uh, my generation will be better when you are your 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 words does not reflect what you say hmm? it's like your is like your 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 preaching water when you're drinking wine so miss uh, hapo kwa kuja kutuambia tukusaidie na ideas we cannot help you with ideas ama kenyans cannot help ruto with ideas because already he has messed the country what he should do is he, he should leave the country in peace Do you have seen uh, leaders who are who have been kazi mewashinda wameacha wameacha nini there is a prime minister of Israel there is a prime minister of uh, Britain kama kazi imemshinda tafadhali acha kutusumbua atuondokee tu please hata hakuna haja atushinde tukienda maandamano atuondokee tu aseme nimeshindwa na hii kazi kazi imenishinda the work that I was given imenishinda as simple as that Thanks. Aya, uh, uh, ngoja mise, ngoja you are still on the queue nitakufikia. Uh, ngoja dakika moja kwanza to break uh, the ice. Just that I've been mentioned several Yeah, yeah. I, I, I am aware. I am aware of that. I am aware. You know tax should not be a burden. Tax should not be a burden on society. Governments have no powers to collect taxes the way they want. That's why we have parliament. And this is where my problem is parliament has failed the people of Kenya. Parliament should know the status of their citizens. People are suffering. People have no jobs, people have no incomes. And you are allowing government to collect taxes in a country where 
the government officially announces that a third of that revenue is going to be stolen. Officially. For the last 20 years, they have been announcing the third of the money. Uh, you know, uh, two, two billion, the last president said per day, that's about 700, you know, out of two trillion. That is a third of that money is going to be stolen. So let us focus, I think this government needs to focus on how to utilize that money effectively. Let us focus on value for money. Let us focus on, 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 on empowering Kenyans to get incomes, to get jobs. Let's not be crazy about collecting money and then spending it lavishly. Already we are living large as a government. It's one of the most expensive. The reason why I say so is because the amount of revenue collected by Kenya, KRA, and I want to be challenged by anyone in this government, is more than the amount of revenue collected by Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, and Burundi combined. And those countries are doing better than us economically. Today we have become a basket case. We're importing eggs and tomatoes and everything from Uganda, from Tanzania, from everywhere. We can't even grow maize. We are not self-sufficient. We have to wait for GMO. I mean, so where is all that money going? I think that should be the focus of this government, how to run an efficient government, how to you know, reduce all this debt burden by trying to do everything you want to do. No, you don't have to do everything you want to do. Allow people to have disposable incomes in their pockets. It's up to, it's, it's, it, the money is for the people to use. Ask, collect enough money to go and run services that they want. You're not providing services. Kenyans don't have adequate medical cover. They are struggling with school fees. They can't afford to send their kids to school. You know, you have, they have no jobs. They don't have social welfare. And you're telling them, I want every penny that you collect as taxes. I think that would be unfair. Okay. Uh, Wakanda forever. Wacha kwanza ni kujia kwa kondyo tuchukui another lap. Unmute your microphone, Wakanda forever. Yes, <clears throat> uh, Richie, just give me a, f a few minutes so that I can get into the, yeah, I can follow more. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so much obliged. Uh, Miss, uh, hold on just a minute before you unmute. Let me give uh, Domi and then I'll come to you. Domi. Okay. Uh, let let me say let me say finish first. All right. Something I'm doing. Okay. It's fine. Miss it. Take it. I think Domi was very unfair. It was very fair today. Thank you, Domi, because um, been going around. Um, um, I was just rebutting, but but I wasn't given a chance. But I think in Tusi you changed to Joseph Kariuki. Huh? So, <laughs> sorry, sorry, same, I changed the, I changed, sorry, I changed the name. Yeah, <laughs> same same <laughs> so, Dosi, uh, you, you, first of all, let me respond when you want to see. No, mm -hmm. no, no, Miss. Uh, this is, this is uh, a different person from Joseph Karaoke. I no, think you're confusing. Yeah, you're confusing the two. I, I have seen both of them here. So, these are two different people. Am I Joseph? Am I am I confusing the two? Yes, you are confusing the two. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I apologize. So let me say something that Intusi was saying about taxes. I think um, what I was saying is simple, and um, the people here have a way of picking facts and twisting them to fit them. I said very simple. Some people from UK told us that they were given free money by the UK government, and they expect the government of Kenya to give them that. I said, the people of UK don't even make that money. We, part of Canada, we send money to the UK. And so probably they get free money that they don't make. And that is why maybe the government is able to afford to give them. And I gave an example that even us who pay taxes and uh, they go to the to the UK, um, uh, we still were given money uh, and not everybody received the money during the COVID uh, pandemic. So that is what I was trying to say. Now, in, in issues that Joshua, you, I had you saying here, social assistance and all that, 
I think I'm not here to defend Ruto. My argument, I'm not here to defend even uh, William, uh, sorry, the government of UDA. I think what I'm, my argument is, I think all of us should be talking about, there, 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 there is patronization of uh, age. You are not there during, I don't have to, I don't have, I'm not an age of uh, my forefathers, but that does, that does not blind me from seeing or identifying the problems. Some people say here, that um, uh, or we live abroad and we don't um, know the problems that are in Kenya. Well, the very same people who are saying they are even live abroad themselves. When they are even telling others to go to the streets, they are comfortably from here and even not even their children will go to the streets uh, to go and um, uh, uh, go to the processions uh, and, and challenging. What my argument is, yes, there could be. I'm not denying. I'm not denying because I was not there, and I'm not. I do not work within the IBC or any other arm of our, our government. But I'm saying yes. We have our own challenges. Even 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 these challenges, we have seen them even in greater economies. That when it comes to elections, there are always are challenges. We have seen that in every country. We've seen this in in, in the UK. We have seen this in in United States of America, last uh, Canadian election, we saw this kind of disputes. These election disputes and challenges are there. But I'm saying our immediate challenge or threat is the, 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 the challenges that are Kenyans are facing. Uh, we send a lot of money back Kenya. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, the, the, the diaspora remittance uh, is a lot is a lot and that is why even the government saw uh, the benefit of forming the diaspora affair uh, um, ministry or not ministry but um, department that will be uh, challenging and looking into how they can better and how the di diasporas can be understood and involved in the governance of Kenya. Now Joshua you were saying that um, uh, you, 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 you are trying to say that we cannot advise the government. Ruto is not, we don't have to advise Ruto directly, you know. There is something called, and this is why sometimes if we don't understand, it is important that we don't argue about it. There is something called, in any policy formulation, there is something called policy review. And under policy review, there is something called critique. You critique the policy, the existing policy, the intention of that policy. Is it working as it as 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 it, as it as intended, or it's not working? If it's not working as intended, then what are the alternative ways that we can correct the policy to work for the benefit of the people? So for us, we uh, for, for 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 us, this can be channeled not to, to Ruto but it can be channeled through Kenya School of Public Administration. They have that op opening there. If you, if you pick up if it's a health, healthcare policy and you find that there's a way you can better it, that is okay. They are very open. Now, the other thing I want to say is that um, the ballot box is the best place to change leadership. Now, that happens in every August of uh, after every five years, uh, we are given that opportunity to change. And uh, immediately preceding a certain period constitutionally, you are given to challenge the legitimacy of that election. If it fails, you still have the, cha you still have the, le the leeway of uh, trying to challenge that. And that has been exhausted. Now, you, uh, I've heard people talking about that Trudeau should have done this, Trudeau should have done that. Let me tell you, Makiadi, it is um, Makiadi, Stone PK, uh, um, and um, uh, many other people who live in the United States. It is only pretentious to say that within three months, we can, we can get impact of um, the, new, the new government. You know, you have been comparing uh, Kibaki government uh, and the Ruto administration. During the Kibaki government, there was no COVID-19. There was not a pandemic. We did not come from a pandemic. 
to the new change of administration. During the Great Recession in 12, 2008, Obama came to power with, with uh, in a country that has uh, unlimited resources and still it took him the first term, the first three years for us to see a great change. In 2009, nothing, you could not feel the impact of his new leadership. 20, 2011, 2012 is when we started um, seeing incremental changes that actually led to uh, him appealing for the people to give him another chance in another uh, election period. So some things need to take time in order for us to feel the, the, the impact. But that doesn't mean that the government must not um, prioritize in addressing the issues. The other day I heard William Ruto saying that they reduced the cost of Unga from 200 to 180, and they were projecting uh, it to come down to 100, 120 uh, shillings in the next six months. I think those are baby steps towards addressing these issues. And then this issue of, uh, uh, of borrowing, uh, that actually, Makiadi, you played a clip before. You played a clip where William Ruto talked about borrowing, how much they want to borrow instead of borrowing 900 million, 900, I don't know if it's million or uh, billion, uh, to reducing it to 600,000 and eventually uh, into diminishing. What we are saying is that while we are putting our off our our um, our our house in order by making sure and i like what the president is saying everybody must pay taxes you don't know these people who are who are in power and i like what the president is saying i hope that he implements it the people who are evading taxes evasion of taxes is not a crime only in kenya it's a worldwide crime if you evade the taxes where you live it is a crime. So if we can crack down all these people who are evading taxes, collect taxes from, from uh, these people. I had someone saying it, it a 500 million, 500 million shillings makes a difference in an economy. If we can collect taxes from everyone, up to including, uh, so that we don't have a few uh, class of people paying taxes and having those who are making millions and, uh, and billions not paying taxes, um, uh, so if all of us can put to one basket and the money is used the way it's supposed to be used, I think Kenya will be a great country. But if we allow other people to evade taxes, uh, then we are stealing from our own. And that's why I said, if William Ruto is going to go down and saying that he's going to um, crack down on the people who are, who are evading taxes, he should lead by example, making sure that he's put his taxes in public, his business in public, and saying, I made this much and I've paid this much taxes, followed by his deputy president, followed by the people in that administration. This way, we don't have selective collecting of, of taxes because if you don't pay taxes, you are stealing from the people. Then there was an issue of... Um, of uh, um, uh, there was a, an issue of, uh, I think that was a tax uh, evasion. I've, I've talked about that. But there is this thing my brother uh, Stone PK keeps patronizing us, saying, Ni kama ananza kufanya kama maneno ya tuoli, alikuwa natuambia, where were you when, when I was dancing with your mother, uh, Twist? Where were you? Eh? The, there are greater leaders who have left an indelible mark in the world who are younger than uh, even old um, leaders in the world, uh, but they, 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 they did not do so because of their age, but because of their wisdom and um, uh, commitment to bring change to humanity, to bring change to the people they have committed to lead. I mean, Obama is one of them, uh, one of the great leaders that we have. Uh, Muhammad Gaddafi is one of those leaders who, led, who left an indelible mark in their countries. So the devotion, the, 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 the dedication and um, a commitment and sacrifice to serve your people is key. And that's what we lack most of our people here. And then I want to say that going to the streets, and this is where I think we are misunderstanding. I want people to go to the streets. I want the prime minister to call people to go to the streets, but discuss what? 
discuss about stolen election or discuss about um, the government failing to provide the basic necessities of life, housing, food, healthcare. That is what we want to hear. But when we are talking about illegitimacy of an election, uh, election, uh, election reforms, that that is why you are calling us for a meeting. That is where I differ. I want us to go to the street and challenge. The government is not giving us uh, what we are entitled. That is what I want to hear. That is if 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 uh, the the deputy pre sorry the prime minister the former prime minister calls me to the street to the to demonstrate the high cost of living. I will be there early in the morning. But if he calls me to go and discuss and tell me that. Um, or Ruto stole election from him, I will know that that is, that is selfishness. When, when Kibaki took power, he highlighted the issues that the country was suffering from. Uh, and he in part towards addressing the issues. Now, uh, what I think that what the prime minister is trying to do is doing what is called political sabotage, which is defined as acts of political, of the other political camp trying to disrupt trying to harass or damage the reputation of the current government so that the government can lose, uh, the, the, sorry, the people can lose the faith in the government so that they can digress in addressing other people's political relevance in the arena. And when we come here and talk about that, you label us, uh, you tell us those are theories, you tell us this is what, um, this is not important, then I think uh, one key thing that we need to understand is that when Wakati the, uh, the tear gas in Arush, in, Arush, in Arushua were to pale, the prime minister will be evacuated by the security personnel. Yenye tunalipa taxes. Lakini those who will remain behind to test the good test of a tear gas will be the very same taxpayers. And that's why we are saying, call us to the streets to address the urgent and the important Election reforms are not important right now. The, uh, the, the uh, health care, food security, um, issues um, uh, of housing, those are the immediate. Now, public participation, uli nafikiri uli tukana watu wa, watu wa slums, pale uli sema wanazaana kama mende. I think that was very harsh to say that because uh, the people who have lived, uh, who live in the uh, in the in the uh, in the slums, are the very hardworking. And every country, even most developed countries, have slum area, have poor housing conditions. If you go to New, uh, to to the United States, if you go to Jersey City, you know JF Kennedy, you will see very poor housing conditions. People are living before poverty line, and so on. So that is what I'm saying: is Kenya is not an exception. Kenya is a struggling economy. And lastly, America has no, and I think uh, it is Joseph Karaoke who was saying this, America has no moral authority to correct Kenya in matters of corruption, in matters of humanity. If there is a country that has failed in matters of humanity, in matters of corruption, in matters of justice, is America. So using America as a threshold of uh, or uh, as a perfect example, pointing Africa or pointing the developing or countries of the West as uh, in terms of corruption uh, is actually misguiding. And lastly, when you talk about World Bank, World Bank is not there to benefit African countries. You need to go back and read about globalization, the introduction of uh, uh, IMF, the introduction of World Bank and why they were introdu uh, intro introduced. And you need to know how much, what is the percentage this government uh, developing countries or countries of the West are paying when they borrow from the West? What are the sanctions that are there? So Kenya can produce or can um, uh, is able to re uh, produce or collect his own taxes. And that's what the president is trying to do. If we are able to pay our taxes, utilize them the way they are supposed to be utilized. I think we can go to greater heights. Forget about these West, Western countries. They are the greatest uh, impediment of democracy. Uh, they have no more authority to speak about human or uh, good uh, dignity of uh, the people living. You don't know that there are people who live in these cold conditions. They live in, in houses. Go to uh, North Dakota. 
go to South, and, South, South Dakota and you will see the indigenous people living in very poor housing conditions. You will see people who are in the streets. Someone talks about homeless people. Doesn't America see that, right? So that is not the mesh of uh, 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 accuracy in terms of uh, democracy. Thank you. All right. Uh, Wakanda, you wanted to make a submission, but I, I will not uh, 